Hello guys and welcome to AVK App Reviews. Today I am going to give you the review for AI CP ROM for Nexus 5. This is one of the few ROM that is based on Synogen mod. Now this ROM has two builds that is calf build and a normal build. So I have tested both the build for Nexus 5. So let's go ahead and check out the installation process for this ROM. For installation, you have to go to the official page of AICP ROM. I will post the link for this page in my description. Here you can find the ROM file for our Nexus 5. So as you can see there are two versions. One is normal version and other is CAF version. You can choose any one of them as per your choice and flash the zip file in the recovery along with the G apps that are compatible with 5.1.1. Now you can dirty flash the normal version over a calf version or you can dirty flash the calf version over a normal version. So it is very easy to jump between the calf build and a normal build. So let's move ahead and check out the android version provided by this ROM. So as you can see the AICP ROM provides android version 5.1.1 and the build number is LMY48B. So it is the latest build available for our Nexus 5. Currently I am on the latest nightly of ASCP version 9. So let's move ahead and check out the benchmark score for this ROM. For the normal build of the ASCP ROM, I have tested with the 4 different kernel. But for a CAF version there are no kernel available. So all the stats that I am going to show for CAF version are taken with the stock kernel that come along with the CAF build. So this is the benchmark score for a ASCP CAF version. And these are the benchmark scores for the normal build of AICP with 4 different kernel. So as you can see the elementary kernel has higher benchmark score as compared to other kernels. Now let's move ahead and check out the battery performance of this ROM. For normal version of AICP, I have tested the battery performance with 4 different kernel. But for stock, I have tested the battery performance with stock kernel only. Now these are the conditions and usage while I was testing the battery performance for this ROM. So these are the battery stats for CAF version of the ROM. So as you can see the battery life for the CAF version is pretty good with stock kernel. And these are the battery stats for the normal version of the ASCP ROM. So as you can see the stock kernel along with the health score kernel has pretty good battery life as compared to other kernels. The health score kernel has a higher screen on time that is 3 hours and 39 minutes. So for this ROM, you must stick to a stock kernel or if you want to install a custom kernel, then you must go for health score kernel. Now let's move ahead and check out the customization option available on this ROM. Now for customization, you will find a separate tab called ACP Extras in settings menu. Here the first option is various sheet. Here you can disable the force close notifications. There you can enable the weather in peak setting panel. Then you can enable the lock screen weather. Then you can customize the lock screen color. And you can also customize the boot animation for this ROM. Then next option is notification driver. So here you can customize the order of tiles. And you can also add or delete any tile if you want. Then you can enlarge the first row, then you can enable the 4 tiles per row, then you can enable the detailed Wi-Fi view, then you can enable the advanced location setting for quick toggle, then you can enable the brightness slider or you can disable it, and you can also customize the color for toggle. So you can choose different color for different toggles. And there is the option of slim actions. You can customize the slim actions through this menu. And you can also add a toggle of a slim actions in quick setting menu. Then you can enable a quick pull down from right edge or left edge. And you can also enable a smart pull down from here. Then the next option is status bar. Here you can customize the clock and it option. Then you can customize the battery settings means you can customize the battery style. Then you can enable the battery percentage inside the icon. Then you can enable the battery bar and you can also customize different options for battery bar. Then next is AICP logo. It will show the 
logo of AICP on left side of status bar. So as you can see, you will see the AICP logo. Then you can enable the carrier label on status bar. Then you can enable the brightness control, double tap to sleep feature. And you can also enable the count for your notification. Then next is you can enable or disable the network activity arrow for your Wi-Fi and mobile data. Then you can enable the network traffic monitor and you can also enable the greetings means it will show the greeting when you unlock your device. Then next option is heads up notification. You can enable or disable the notification from here. You can customize the timeout for the notification. Then you can enable the swipe behavior for notification and you can also add any app to DND mode or in a blacklist mode. Then next option is display and animations. You can customize all the system animations from here and you can also customize the LCD density of the screen. Then next option is recent panel setting. You can enable the clear all button and you can customize the location for the button that is top right, top left, bottom right as per your choice. Then you can enable the memory bar. It will show the RAM usage in your recents menu. Then you can enable or disable the search bar in recents and you can also activate the omni switch if you want. Then next option is gesture anywhere. You can enable the gesture anywhere feature. By means of this, you can you can add a specific gesture for opening or closing of any app as per a choice. You can customize all the options of gesture anywhere from this menu. Then next is wavelock blocker. You can block the system wavelocks from here. Then next is ad blocker. You can enable the ad blocker from here. And you can also allow any ad by using the whitelist option in the ad blocker. Then next option is kernel auditor. By using this you can customize the different stats for the kernel. And next option is AICP OTA. Here you can check for the OTA updates for the ROM. Another customization can be found under tab called buttons. Here you can customize the buttons layout for the navigation bar. Then you can enable the left handed mode. Then you can enable the double tap to sleep feature. You can enable the arrow keys on navigation bar. Then you can customize the navigation bar dimension. Then you can also change the button colors of navigation bar. Then you can enable or disable the navigation ring. And you can also customize the navigation ring targets. Then you can customize the power menu from here. Then you can enable different features for volume button actions. Now as this ROM is based on CM12.1, so you can see there is a theme engine inbuilt. So you can apply any theme that is compatible with CM12 or CM12.1. Now talking about the gaming performance of this ROM, there, are, there is no lag or an issue while playing the games. The game run very smoothly on this ROM. Also in terms of multitasking, the ROM is pretty smooth and fast. There is no lag or any glitches while switching between the apps. So it's time for final verdict. As this ROM has two versions, that is CAP version and the normal version, I would say both the versions are fast, fluid and stable. In terms of battle life and performance, both the versions are same. So if you want to try something new, then you must go for a CAP version. Otherwise you can go for the normal version. Now the AICP ROM is pretty smooth, fast and fluid. Also the ROM has lot of customization. So I would say you must give a try to AICP ROM. It will give you a good custom ROM experience. So if you have any suggestions, let me know through the comments. And if you like this video, please hit the like button below and share this video and subscribe to my channel for more such video. You can follow me on Google Plus, Facebook and Twitter. Thank you for watching my video. I will see you in my next video.